And you will also encounter the following terms. We have the finite set. A finite set is a set with limited number of elements. That means we can count the number of elements that can be countable. The second one is the infinite set. A set with infinite numbers of elements. That means, that means we cannot count the elements in that set. Third, we have the empty set. That means there is no element in a given set. And fourth, we have the unit set. A unit set is a finite set that contains one and only one element. This time, I want you to answer the following examples in our whiteboard. Tell whether the set is finite, infinite, empty, or unit set. You can pause this video if you want to answer. Number one, perfect square numbers between 10 and 90. Number two, x such that x is a negative integer. Number three, x such that x is a negative integer between negative 1 and 45. Four, full numbers which divisible by 11. Five, number of vowels in the word fetus. Six, x such that x is a student in your class. Seven, B is equal to 149, and the ellipse sign. So you can pause the video, then if, since you are done, now let's check your work. Number one, perfect square numbers between 10 and 90. Can we count the elements, with the perfect square numbers between 10 and 90? Yes. That means this is an example of finite set. Next, number two. X such that X is a negative integer. Can we count those numbers? Negative integer? Negative numbers are infinity numbers. So, this is infinite. Number two is infinite. Number three, x such that x is a negative integer between negative one and 45. Do we have a negative number between negative one and 45? None. So, voila. So, this is empty. Empty set. Or we can use this symbol. Okay, or this one. This is the empty symbol, and this symbol also known as the null set. N U L L, null set, or the empty set. Number four, full numbers which divisible by 11. So we have a plenty of whole numbers which is divisible by 11. So we cannot count, so that is infinite. Number five, number of vowels in the word features. Can we count the number of vowels? Yes. So this is finite. Six, x such that x is a student in your class. Of course, you can count the number of students in your class. So, it is finite. B is equal to 149, 16, 25, and so on. This is the ellipse sign. The ellipse sign indicates infinity. So, this is infinite. In 
I hope that you understand that. Finite, infinite, empty, and the unit cell. And that is the introduction of sets. Please watch our next video. The union set, complement of a set, and the intersection of a set. And of course, the subset. I will um, insert the link in our description box so that you can find the orders in our topic. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV and I hope that you learned something in this video. Master your grade 7 lesson because this is your foundation for the higher mathematics. Please share to your classmates and don't forget to subscribe in our channel. And hit the notification bell in order for you to be updated in our upcoming videos.